all Intel processors start as quartz sand that is formed into large chunks of silicon. The silicon is melted and processed into a pure monocrystalline ingot. This ingot is composed of a perfect molecular structure that is ideal for building transistors. This silicon is cut into wafers and transported to the factory. Intel fabs are extremely clean over a thousand times cleaner than a sterile operating room. To ensure the wafers stay sterile, they are loaded into forward opening unified pots, called poops. These are carried through the fab by the Automatic Material Handling System, AMHS. Poops are cleaned and processed by this articulated arm and then filled with 25 silicon wafers from a load board. Once the journey begins, the silicon goes through thousands of steps to become an Intel processor. The processor in the making travels over 1.2 miles throughout fabrication. The AMHS has over a thousand overhead robots operating at one time with zero traffic jams. In between steps, wafers are held in the stalker. The stalker processes over 40,000 poops in a day. Fab engineers track every process and monitor tools in the fab from this operating room. Tools can move throughout the factory on a reinforced pressurized floor called the Silver Highway. Some tools are so large, fab engineers can work inside them. Each tool has thousands of inputs and outputs for fluids, gases, and chemicals. One of the first steps for a wafer is the track tool. Here, wafers are loaded into a spin coater, where they are coated with a special polymer preparation for photolithography. The rainbow color effect is due to the changing thickness of the polymer film as the solvent evaporates.
After lithography, plasma etching is done to transfer the pattern from the polymer film to the underlying silicon. These processes are repeated several times to build up multiple layers of transistors. In between layers, wafers get bumped by a chemical mechanical polisher that smooths the surface before the next layer is baked on. After the entire stack is built, wafers are moved to a dye sort facility. Ground-based automated material handlers move the wafers between different processes. Wafers are cut into dyes with water-cooled saw blades. The dyes are then sorted by type. attached to a thin film tape and rolled into reels. The reels are taken and shipped to the chip packaging facility on their final journey to become Intel processors. This automated factory runs non-stop three shifts a day, 24-7, 365 days a year.